and Sayadan Maths Online. Today's topic is length of the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent. Let us take the pole or the origin to be O. So the origin is called as the pole. So on this coordinate axis, let me take this line to be equals to OL. Let us consider a curve. And for this curve, let me draw a tangent. Let us draw the radius vector. Let this point be P of R comma theta, where theta represents the angle between the radius vector and line OL. The radius vector is OP, which is taken as R. The angle between the radius vector and tangent, we take it as 5. So from the pole, let me drop a perpendicular. So this represents 90 degree angle. Let me consider this point as point N. So what we have done, we have considered consider a pole O. Draw the line, the line OL. Then we have considered draw the curve. So let me take this curve to be equals to r is equals to f of theta. So draw the curve r is equals to f of theta. And for the given curve, what we have drawn, we have drawn a tangent. Draw the tangent. At the point P. And let the angle between let the angle between radius vector and tangent radius vector and tangent be five so that's the angle between the radius vector and tangent angle P O L that's the angle theta and we also taken the angle between the radius vector and the tangent so let us take that angle to be equals to OPN OPN is the angle between the radius vector and the tangent so let us take that angle to be equals to phi so then we have drawn the perpendicular so draw the perpendicular draw the perpendicular from the pole from the pole which represents the origin O from the pole O to the tangent to the tangent at the point N so now if you try to consider the right angled triangle from the right angled triangle so in short right right angled triangle right angle triangle O N P so we'll try to consider say sine of phi so what will be sine of phi so with respect to this particular angle phi you had taken so sine of phi will be what sine of phi the basic formula that you have is opposite by hypotenuse so in this case opposite to the given angle phi is this angle that you are having this side that you are having which is uh, O n so let me take that as O n divided by the hypotenuse so hypotenuse is opposite to the angle 90 degrees this represents the hypotenuse so hypotenuse will take it as O p so we know the value of O n O n is uh, the length let me take the length of this O n represents the perpendicular so let the length of the perpendicular be equals to p small p so since I have drawn the perpendicular from the pole to the tangent, so let me take that O n to be equals to P. So the length to be equals to small p. Small p divided by O p. O p is the radius vector. Let me take that as 
heart. So therefore, we have got sine of phi to be equals to it is p by r. Or cross multiply this r will be getting r sine of phi to be equals to p. So therefore, I can rewrite this value to be equals to p is equals to r sine of phi. We can represent this length of the perpendicular in terms of r and theta. So since now we are having in terms of r and phi, we can express this in terms of r and theta. So for that, what I will try to do is, I will just try to take the reciprocal of this. So take reciprocal. So if you take reciprocal, I will be getting the value to be equals to 1 by p is equals to, it is 1 by r sine of phi. Right? Or if I try to rewrite this one, this becomes 1 by r. So it is 1 by sine. So 1 by sine is represented as cosecant of phi. Or further, since you are having cosecant, you can square this one, squaring on both sides. So squaring on both sides, I'll be getting 1 by p square is equals to 1 by r square. So cosecant can be written as cosecant square of phi. So I've got cosecant square of phi. But we know the uh, formula for cosecant square of phi. So cosecant square of phi is nothing but 1 plus cot square of phi. So cosecant square phi can be written as 1 plus cot square of phi. But we know that cot phi, the angle between the radius vector and tangent, which we have done in the previous video. You can just watch my previous video to get the result for cot phi. So the value of cot phi that we have is 1 by r dr by d theta. So you can just plug in this value of cot phi back over here. So therefore, I'll be getting the value to be equals to 1 by p square is equals to, it is 1 by r square times of 1 plus. Cot phi value is nothing but 1 by r dr by d theta and it is squared. 1 by r dr by d theta squared. So cot square phi we have got. So the main reason why we expressed initially over here p is equals to r sin phi in terms of cosecant. Cosecant since directly you cannot express that in terms of cot square Therefore, I have squared it so that I can express in terms of cot square. And since I know the value of cot, 5, I will just plugged in those values. So further, you can simplify this one. This will be nothing but 1 by r square times of, it is 1 plus. Since you have square, you can just square it. 1 by r whole square, that is 1 by r square, into you have dr by d theta. And this is also squared. Therefore, I can just write it as squared. Further, you can simplify this one. 1 by r square, you can multiply inside. Is 1 by r square into 1 will be 1 by r square plus. So this 1 by r square into 1 by r square will be 1 by r power of 4. Into this value, it is dr by d theta whole square. So dr by d theta whole square. So therefore, you got 1 by p square to be equals to so much. So therefore, I have expressed p in terms of r and theta. So that's the length of the perpendicular relationship. So the first relationship you have got p is equals to r sin 5. I obtain another relationship over here. You can further get one more relationship from this given result. So let us try to get one more result. So for that, let me take this value of 1 by r to be equals to u. So two relationships have been obtained. The first relationship I have got it is p is equals to r sine 5. And this is the second relationship. I am going for the third relationship. So 1 by r, I have taken it as u. So if that is the case, if I try to differentiate this one, so differentiate with respect to theta. So if I try to differentiate this with respect to theta, so differentiation of 1 by r will be minus 1 by r square. So simple formula of differentiation of 1 by x. So we know the derivative of 1 by x, d by dx of 
1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square. So using this basic formula over here, so derivative of 1 by r will be minus 1 by r square into differentiation of r with respect to theta will be dr by d theta. So is equals to on the right hand side you have u differentiation of u with respect to theta will be du by d theta. You have the second term in terms of 1 by r power of 4 into dr by d theta whole square. So to get this relationship I need to square this on both the sides. So let us try to square on both sides. Squaring on both sides. In short I will write bs. Squaring on both sides. So this becomes 1 by r square dr by d theta is squared on the right hand side also you are squaring du by d theta. It is also squared. So if you square the negative sign it becomes positive. So 1 by r square whole square will be 1 by r power of 4 into you have dr by d theta whole square dr by d theta whole square. So which will be nothing but on the right hand side you have du by d theta and it is squared. So this value you can just try to plug in over here in this case. If you want you can take this as say equation number 1. So substitute this value back in equation number 1. So substitute in equation number 1. So your equation number 1 will be 1 by p square is equals to. So if you try to observe here you are having 1 by r square right. But we know 1 by r is u therefore 1 by r square will be how much that means squaring it you will be getting u square. So this value will be nothing but u square plus the second term you already got it over here which is nothing but du by d theta whole square. So in this case you got the value of u that I have taken to be 1 by r. So another relationship of the length of the perpendicular P, I have expressed that in terms of u and theta, where the value of u, where this u value is nothing but 1 by r in this case. The first one was P is equals to r sin 5. The second result that we obtained was this equation number 1. Another now, one more relationship I obtained. Let me take that as equation number so that's all I have for today. Thank you.